The map section 3 can be a tricky one, so in this video I'm going to give you guys my top tips to acing the map section 3. My name is Skrulls, I'm a Cambridge med student who scored a 6.5, 8.6, 3.5 A in the BMAT. And in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to write the perfect section 3 essay. So just quickly, in terms of your approach to section 3, my personal opinion on it is that you guys should aim for around a 3.5 A. I personally didn't really see a point in trying to get a 5A because I'd much rather get a super high section 2 or a better section 1 since these seem to be a lot more heavily weighted by unis. But anyway, in terms of actually doing well at section 3, my first tip is if you guys are studying like, science subjects at A level, I would definitely choose either the science or medicine question types from your three question options. Just because the first philosophy question can sometimes be pretty tricky to navigate if you're not used to this question type. My second tip is make sure that your handwriting is within the lines and nice and neat when you're actually doing the essay. Because you're answering on an A4 sheet of paper and anything you guys write outside the box is just not going to be marked. So try and avoid crossing out excessively, too many asterisks, too many arrows, just things that make your page look messy. Make it nice for the examiner to read and keep it relatively neat. Another really important tip I have for you guys is to structure your essay according to the question. So essentially to get a score of three in terms of content, you guys just need to answer the full question in a reasonably coherent structure with good, decent arguments. So what I like to do is I like to plan my essay and actually write the essay according to the structure of the question. So usually the question will have three parts and these will form the bases of my three paragraphs in my essay. Now, if you guys want to know a lot more about async section three, as well as sections one and section two, check out sigmamed.co.uk for a BMAT course that was created by two Cambridge University medical students who scored in the top 10%. This course can really help you guys absolutely smash the BMAT out of the park and it costs £30 for the first 50 students, so I would definitely be quick. And my final tip for section three, just in terms of how to structure your points, is try and include as much real life evidence as you can. So this is things like work experience, studies you've read, things you've seen in the news, or just kind of personal experiences. So let's say, for example, the um, question is about apps and healthcare. You could talk about how an app helped your grandmother uh, get a GP, GP appointment or something along those lines. You want to basically show your wider awareness of medicine in your essays. And I think this is the key to getting a really decent score. But yeah, there you have it. Those are my tips for doing well in section three. And if you guys are sitting with BMAT, make sure you check out sigmamed.co.uk and be sure to subscribe.